Hello and welcome back to the channel. First, I'd like to start off with thanking everybody that subscribed and made comments to me. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Today, we're going to be working on the 392 out of the 2015 Scat Pack Edition. I chose to go with this motor because, well, quite frankly, it has lower miles. It looks like it's in a little cleaner shape. I don't see as many uh, possible leaks or anything like that going on. So this is just ultimately a, a newer motor and this is the one I wanted to uh, select here. So what we're gonna be working on today is removing the headers because these, are, these headers will not work, at least that's my understanding. The interesting part is over here, <clears throat> on the other 392 motor, they do have different headers and I'm gonna see if these headers right here will will be the correct model number. What I went and did is I printed off the uh, build of materials list from Jeep Speed Shop in California of what's gonna be needed here. So I'm gonna check it against some of the parts that we already have on the, the older motor that I got out of the Dodge SRT8. So that should be fine. I also noticed when I was checking these that this coil pack right here must have gotten broken in uh, transit. Don't think that's gonna be a good one to use. You can see it's, it's cracked right underneath there. These ones are all nice and solid. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research and you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to just take a coil pack off of the the other SRT8 or the other 392 motor that's over there or just uh, use use the one out of here. Either way, we'll get we'll get that figured out and I'll keep you up to date there. So put, remove the headers, remove the motor mounts, uh, remove the alternator, verify which model this alternator is. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to clean up where the intake manifold sat and I'm gonna get some tape to, to cover those locations. That way uh, nothing can fall in there. Next step after that is I'm gonna clean up everything going on inside here.
able to get the exhaust uh, headers off and then the engine mounts and the alternator. We'll take a quick preview of how clean that looks. And I feel like it looks pretty good. You know, I don't know a ton about what I'm looking at, but the engine block looks quite clean. Let me go over to the other side real quick here. All right, I think that about does it for today. I have a couple more emails out to Todd at Jeep Speed Shop to verify exhaust. I was able to look over at the other exhaust I have and you can see the model number right there. It does not, it does not align with the model number that's on the building materials that, that I got. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping it would, but that's okay. Tomorrow I'm thinking about moving this over into the corner there because I don't have a ton of work left to do on it. I basically have to reassemble it after I get the new parts. Then, I'm, I don't know, it's Saturday. I think we uh, should take a stab at uh, starting to pull out the old engine. And I should probably clean up the garage a little bit. So, talk to you later. Peace.